I'll be showing seven new features in Microsoft Forms. This includes the core Forms product as well as quizzes. So let's get started. The first new feature is the ability to send a form directly to a Teams channel or an Outlook email set of people. I've got a form here that I've created, the favorite color poll. And I'm gonna go to the upper right and choose collect responses. Automatically, there's this little choice that is new where I can send something directly to people in Outlook or in Teams. And it says, please submit your response by October 14th. And so that's the date that I would like people to submit things by. Now I can add a name or a channel here. I'm gonna start with a channel. I've got a set of people here, but I'm gonna scroll down. Here are some of the channels. I'm gonna choose peer reviewed resources in the health resources team. So now what I'm ready to do is hit send on this. This will send this directly into the team. And I'm gonna switch over and show what that looks like really quick. I'm here in the peer reviewed resources channel in my team. And here is that poll that I just sent. The form went right into the channel and people can now click start now. So anyone who sees this message can click this. And then that form opens up and they can fill it out. In a similar way, if I go back as the form organizer, I can send this mail directly in Outlook. So if I give a couple of people here, I can type in their names. Here are the people that I wanna email this directly to. I just check the Outlook box and I hit send. This will then send them a form directly with a link. They can click it and open it. The second new feature lets form creators really easily have a sense of who has filled out the poll or not via an Outlook update. So I've got my form here and in the upper right, I'll click collect responses. Just like we showed previously, this message will be what is sent out to the people in Outlook. So I'll choose Outlook in this case and I want them to respond by October 11th and I'll give a couple of names as recipients and now I will hit send. This here says message sent and I will get email notifications with the form status. So the people who have not responded, I'm gonna get an email telling me, you know, hey, Alex and Ella have not responded yet. So it helps me nag them a little bit more. If you don't wanna get these notification messages, you can flip that switch here to off. But I'm gonna flip over now and show what Kara sees when she gets these email updates saying who's filled out the form and who hasn't. Now we've sped ahead a couple of days and this is an example of a different form. Now as the form creator, this is the email that I get. It says, checking in, my response deadline's coming up in a few days and so far my form has gotten zero responses. Oh no. And if I wanna send a reminder, can I go nag people? I can click send a reminder and I can then ping those folks and say, hey, make sure to fill out this form. The third new feature is one of the top requests from forums over the years, which is timed quizzes. I'm an educator and I have a quiz here and I wanna put a timer on it so people have a very specific time they have to finish in. Up in the three dot menu in the right, I will choose settings. And there's this new choice, set time duration. And just to give more details, editing is not allowed after the timer ends and the answers will be auto submitted when the timer is up. And it also tells that to the students. So I'm gonna check on set time duration. We'll set it for 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna go and click collect responses and then choose copy. And I'm gonna copy this link. We'll switch over and show what does a student see when they get a timed quiz. I'm signed in as the student and now it says, hey, this is a timed form. Shows me 30 minutes. It says once you start, you can't pause the timer, but forms will give you a final minute reminder before your submission and your answers will be automatically submitted. So we'll click start. So we've sped ahead and you can see that timer is counting down. If I wanna make it smaller, less distracting, I can do that. Click it again, make it bigger. But now I'm gonna go and start clicking through and answering the different questions here on the form. And even as I scroll, you can see the timer is still up there. And now I'm ready, I will click submit. Okay, everything's all done. If I wanna view my results, I can even see how much time I took. I took 26 seconds in this case. The fourth new feature is improvements to forms inside of Teams meetings. So I have a meeting I've sent out here and I'm gonna edit it before the meeting starts. Go to the plus tab and you're gonna search for polls. This is actually the forms app, but it's been renamed as polls. I'll hit plus and choose save. So the fourth feature here is that you have all these great suggestions automatically. So if I don't wanna to have to create a new poll, maybe I wanna have the icebreaker one. This looks good, we'll choose that. A bunch of options. What part of school life did you miss the most during summer vacation? You can choose whichever one you want, but I will choose save as a draft. Here's another one for word cloud, I'll add that too. So having all of these suggestions here, and if I scroll down, there's a whole bunch of great suggestions. These are more education focused because I'm signed in as an educator, but if you're in the corporate world, they'll be more corporate focused as well. 
Now the fifth new feature are recent polls that you've already put out. So let's say you've had a Teams meeting and you've already created a poll. Now we'll keep track of those so it's really easy to reuse. So if I go to my recent polls, this is a new choice here. Over on the right, you'll see a poll that I already gave. Is Mike amazing? That's a great poll. I'm gonna reuse that one. One to five stars. I hope people had a five star rating for me. Those are my three polls that are all now ready to go before I go into the meeting. And you can flip back and forth between my recent polls or new suggestions or just create a new poll which has already existed in the past. Now the sixth new feature is another one for polls and I'll click new poll. There's a new question type and that is ranking. So I will click this and you can allow people to rank different questions. So what is your favorite color? And I'm gonna save that as a draft. Now what we'll do is start the meeting and I will launch that ranking question. I'm here in the meeting and in the upper right there is polls because I've already added that. If I open this up, I can have all the different draft polls that are all ready to launch. And I'm gonna launch the ranking poll. So I will click launch. And this asks, what is your favorite color? And all I need to do is click and drag, you know, purple's my favorite, purple's number one, and blue is number two, and I'm gonna have, a, you'll have green is last place. So each person can rank these different options. I will hit submit. And now it shows the current ranking, only with one response. And as more people rank and respond, this will shift and update in real time. The seventh new feature is another new poll question type, and that is rating. So I will open up the polls menu from within the meeting this time, and I will click new poll. One of the new choices is rating, and we're gonna choose this. So we'll give a question. What do you think about this forms video? And you can rate it from one to five stars. If you wanna change this, maybe you only wanna allow three choices or four choices, you can do that. And it doesn't have to be a star, it could be a thumbs up. So hey, I wanna give one to five thumbs up. And you can also do things like defining the different levels. Level one means this, all the way up to level five. So a few different options. Now in this case, my poll is ready to launch, so I will launch it now. And here it popped up. What do you think about this forums video? We're gonna give it five thumbs up and hit submit. And now it gives me a sense of how many people have voted. So I voted level five, only one response. When other people vote, this will update in real time. And then over on the right hand pane, everyone can see all the results over here as well for this live ratings poll. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.